to get um, this made, we'll move down to making the legs. The legs are, are pretty, not, not too hard. There'll be some uh, uh, quarter inch dowel supplied and you need to take and uh, take a 16th inch drill and drill through one way and then turn it 90 degrees and drill through it again. So that gives you uh, four places for legs. Now you cut it a little bit long. You can always cut this off later so you can actually get a hold of it. All right, now the legs are coming a solitary, solid piece of resin. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut that. And to make the cuts, we're gonna come um, <coughs> in here and draw us off on just a plain piece of wood, uh, come up one half inch and make a line across, across. And then we'll make us a center line and come off seven eighths inches, okay? So from, from the center over seven eighths. So what we're gonna do is take our piece of resin and we'll come in here and pull the leg to where it's just the center line of the bottom of the leg is the center of that line there. All right. And then we'll come back here and let this allows the um, resin piece to um, be flush with the bottom. And then we're going to trace, trace along that. Okay. On the back side. And you can see how I've drawn it on there. Anyway, We'll lay it back on there and we'll make a mark on the resin. Now center lined on the leg itself is centered on this line and over seven eighths inch we'll come over here and make a mark up here, make a mark right there. And then we're going to turn it over and put the center of the leg on this line back, that back here and make sure we follow the contour and we're going to make a mark again. Okay, we have to cut these apart so they'll fit into the base. Now, before you do any of this, you need to clean this up and, and you can sand it a little bit and get any of the flashing off of it that you need to. But anyway, the resin, it cuts easily. So we just go on our mark and we're going to just cut it. Then we'll flip it over, find the other mark, and we're going to cut it again. All right, we're removing a little bit. And so these legs should be about the same length. Now, what we're gonna do is you need to cut out all four of them and just ease them. Oh, hang on, I gotta make another hole because this hole's a little bit bigger than 1 16th. You start off with 1 16th to uh, get the holes right and then we have to go back through. Let me go ahead and drill these holes for this and I'll tell you what size they are and, and we'll uh, install the legs. Okay, I'm back. Uh, the holes in there is 330 seconds. And what you have to do is, um, I, I'm working with a set that's kind of, that still hasn't hardened totally. You just have to clean the edge off just barely, just so that it will slide into the hole. And you want a nice tight fit. So anyway, those go in. All right. And then you need to sit it down. And if you get a little bit loose, just, just start over with another piece of dowel. But anyway, you want to sit it down and make sure you got it sitting where this is uh, perpendicular to the table, okay? You may have to move your legs a little bit um, inside the hole to get them right, okay? Once you get them set just like, these, like you want, I just ran some thin CA all the way around and um, let it weep into the legs. And it made a pretty, it's made a sturdy seat. It's flimsy here, but once it's glued, it's pretty sturdy. And once you glue it in place, you also want to make sure it fits, is you'll glue it in place onto there where it sits right on the X, okay? Um, anyway, you need to make two of these. Um, I was going to show you on the back of this one is I've made a whole piece because you will see the back of this one in the rear of the uh, the radio room. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I made this where this piece of wood fit all the way inside of the back here. So when I glue it and once I paint it, it'll look nice and smooth. Okay. Uh, but anyway, once you do that on this front chair, it's, it's pretty tight area on the front. I, from the top of the leg, from the top of this leg, I went up about three eighths of an inch. But I'd cut a little of the time until you figure out how high you want that chair to sit. But three eighths of an inch is what I've measured on this one. I think the only thing I don't like about it is the, the back of the seat should be up um, a little bit higher. But anyway, that's how the chair's done. That's how the um, 
front of the uh, plane is done. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get all this installed. Uh, like I said, you, well, anyway, you need to make sure it all fits before you glue anything. All right, um, we're, gonna, we're finished up with this area, and we're going to move back to, um, I'm doing an area for the radio room. Uh, we'll get all the parts ready for that and show you how to put it together. Okay, guys, here we are at the um, radio compartment or radio room, whatever you're going to call it. Um, what we're doing is we're going, I've got a uh, whole compartment that will fit between these two um, formers here. Well, it fits right on the back side here and back against this former here. And um, <coughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't impede with anything in the airplane. Uh, it just takes up this area, and you can look down in there, and it's a complete radio uh, compartment. Anyway, um, the only thing we have to contend with, um, now I've already installed it and pulled it back out, is there is a former right here and we're going to leave the majority of that former but what i want to show you is that the former that i have uh, made that that goes right here at the front of this last, very first opening this will is an almost an exact match to the fuselage so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this one uh, we're going to cut it from um, at an angle back down to this former here so we can open it up you can see the radio room a lot better and what we're going to do is take a good hard balsa and put on the back side of this, all the way, all the way across the back side. And this will add the strength back that you would lose the holding together here um, just a little further forward. Okay. Um, now, if you want to leave that, you can. But this um, adds a neat little thing that you can look down in the plane and see the uh, the radio room, the chair, the uh, table, everything. So anyway. Um, what I've done is I've just come in here and I have, I hope you can see this, I've come from the outside just, just to the side of the opening and brought a line down to where the inside here there's a mark and I'm going to take a Dremel tool and I'm going to cut this and it'll cut it on both sides. It'll leave the former against the fuselage there but it will remove this cross member. All right. It, you, know, you have a full former back here and a full former right in front, and we're going to add another one, so you're really not going to lose any strength. So um, I've got I've, we can do we can install this with leaving that at the moment because I want to show you how I did this. Okay, first thing, um, eventually you're going to have to paint the whole area so it all matches in color. But anyway, when you first get this. Um, you want to go ahead and cut this out and you'll cut away all the flashing around it. You're going to make it to where it's nothing but 90 degrees. And then we're going to go ahead and you're going to fill the back of this with balsa. And uh, like I said, a, a decent hard balsa will give you a little bit more strength, especially when you glue, it, glue this in place. Anyway, you, you cut that one out. Uh, here's the rear, rear bulkhead and you're going to cut it out the same way all the way around. And when you, uh, this one, butts exactly up against a former at the back so so you actually glue it into the face of another former all right once you get those cut out you just trial fit them make sure they fit in, fit in place um, what i have is i have the finished products this is the rear one and it just slides right in place uh, this is the front one uh, we have a desk that i made uh, a, a small radio here and two more uh, small bo resin boxes that'll go there and then, of course, we've got a fire extinguisher you have to paint. Um, one thing that will set this off pretty good is if you paint the whole thing, the interior green, and then take a, a, the, the super fine tip uh, uh, Sharpie marker and just mark the lines all the way around, you can see them really well. Inside, it gives it a little bit more depth. I even traced or, or drew around the hinges themselves, and it adds a lot to it, and you can really set the door off looking in.